Hi guys. Guys, I'm sure you're wondering why my hair is always in the same style because this hair is getting old and it's about time that I took it out. So the best angle for me to wear my hair is when it's back. So don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me. And these are my favorite hoops too. So yeah, I, think, I, I really like statement hoops and I think my tea time Fridays encourage me to buy like I feel like that's my thing, you know, like Anyway, let's pray <laughs> Father, I thank you for this beautiful evening I thank you for um, The opportunity that you have given me to uh, Speak to your children Father, I pray that you lead me and you guide me And Show me the way to go and just Use me how you How you want to Jesus name I pray, Amen Guys, this episode I told you that last uh, two weeks ago, I think, a week ago, I made a make an episode about my mother, and this week I am dedicating this one to my father. So I told you what I have a few things I learned from my mom and the things that I love about my mom. But this one, oh gosh, that plane. This one, oh god. Emphasis is going to be on my father. Um, uh, my father. How would I describe my father? Um, my father, I think he's the most humble man that I've ever met. Not alone humble, but also God-fearing man that I've ever met. Guys, there's God-fearing, like this cliche God-fearing, like, yeah, but my father has made decisions that I have seen him make, that I've proved that have proved that this man is God-fearing. As a man, the decisions and the things that he has set aside because of his love for God, have really have left me in awe not once not twice not thrice but multiple times guys my father is a man of god um my father is a great husband my father has been a great father to us amidst his busy schedule amidst his the things that he's doing still he made time to he created time to spend with us and guys i think that i'm going to talk about today about my dad so many things but humility remember that, that other time Fridays that I talked about, about humility I have never seen a man as humble as my dad my dad is someone who would never in fact the word is not humility the word is down to earth I think he's down to earth and humble my father has been has gone through so many things because of his love for Christ and because of the decisions he makes and because of his prayer the way he prioritizes Christ of course we live in a generation where the, the gospel is is, is is twisted and turned in many ways but this man has chosen to stand on the truth that he knows this man and his wife have chosen you guys know you can be in a, in a, in a partnership or you can be a couple Nga one of you is this side and others on the other side like it's normal okay not normal but like these days we see it a lot like there's division but for them they go this side they go like he is supportive to my mother and my mother is supportive to him she is very supportive when it comes to him like i have seen them support each other my father can just be like god has said we do this god has said we fast my mother's already like yes i i'm like oh my god it's like she was there when god was telling him like she is supportive oh he has said we go to karamoja we all go that's the kind of life that i have grown up in that's like that's the way they have raised us you know and um let me get joe Guys, tea time Friday. Hi guys. <laughs> tea time Friday. Yay. <laughs> okay. So what are the two things you, you've learned from dad? Okay, in terms of humility, what has daddy um Yeah, his humility. Say something about his humility. Well, first of all about humility, what I've learned from my dad is that the more he has been humble is the more God has lifted him. Yeah. And also I've learned that he is no you will never find him competing with anyone. I mean, like humility generally with my dad, I would say mm. that it has taught me to be patient with people yeah. and to be tolerant, you know? So That's those true. two things, patience and tolerance. That's yes. what I, I, I would say that humility has really um, done Thanks, to my dad. You're now free to go. Yes, 
so that was Joel, as you know, that's my, my beautiful brother, and yeah, he came to my room, and to pick his guitar, we are going somewhere, so I'm in a rush, so I'm on time, but anyways, um, yeah, so that's one of the things I've learned about my father, I'm sorry this episode is short, but we will continue, daddy, if you're watching this, I love you so much, mommy, if you're watching this, I love you so much, thank you so much for standing, thank you so much for leading as an example, and thank you so much for giving us the best gift ever, which is to love Christ. I love you guys and thank you so much guys for watching please do get some time to appreciate your parents um i encourage you to do that because at the end of the day parents come from our gift from god they brought us into this world they love us and, and you know our parents are also human beings so they're not perfect and please when you get some time send your mommy a message send your father a message give him a kiss send them a gift you know just tell them that mom i appreciate you i know things are not perfect but i love you okay guys Joe is on my case.